So we've covered the basics of Unity and I hope right now you're feeling ready and equipped to start making your own first game with Unity 3D. Now to do this go to the file menu and from the file menu you can see a couple of options. You can start new scenes or you can start new projects. Now the difference between a project and a scene is exactly how you would expect it. A scene is only one level or one environment or a portion where your game can take place. This includes main menus and that sort of thing. And a project is an overall project of a game. Of course it can hold multiple scenes because a game has multiple locations and menus. So in this case we want to start with an entirely clean project. So click new project from the file menu and then name your game whatever you want. In my case I'm going to call it 001 as this is the first in my set of movies and I'll use different projects for each movie to explain things more clearly. However, you can just follow along the way you like and name your game whatever you want it to be called. Then underneath that there's a couple of Unity packages that we can select to import. Now depending on which version of Unity you have, these packages differ. Right now I'm using the free version or the what used to be the indie version and this comes with the standard assets Unity package. Now, if you want tune shading, you can select that, but in this case, I'm just going to go with the standard assets. If you have Unity Pro, the professional package, and you probably had to pay for it, then there's also a Pro Assets Unity package. Now, in this case, the standard package will do just fine. As soon as you hit Create, it looks like Unity quit itself, but it actually starts making the files that you need. It starts importing the standard assets and it makes a standard assets folder for you. Now again, if you were running the pro assets folder, then probably it will make a folder for pro assets. Now if you've selected tune shading, it will probably make a folder for that also. And as soon as it's done with processing, you will notice it starts up just like you would expect it to start up, but this time without the island demo. Let me get rid of the welcome screen here and if I go to file and I want to go back to the island project I just hit open project and select the island demo from the menu. I don't want to do that right now because I'm fine with my new project but whenever you feel like going back to the unity demo to try some things out or to change some things and learn then that's the way how to do it. Now in this case you can see everything is nicely cleaned up there's nothing in the 3D view the hierarchy is pretty much empty except for one main camera. Our project only has the standard assets in it and our inspector is empty because nothing is selected. When I go to a game view you can see the whole thing is blue because we did not set any sky to render and if nothing is rendered the only thing that is left is a blue sky. Alright, so now what we can do is save this scene that is currently open by clicking file and save scene and then let's make a new folder underneath our standard assets and call this folder scenes. This folder will hold all the levels that we will make over time. Now let's call this simply scene 1 and save. Now as you can see Unity will update itself in the project panel because we've also made a scene folder here and as you can see now we have our scenes in here called scene 1. If Unity in this case doesn't really refresh right away just right click and say review and finder and this opens up a new finder window as soon as you close it it should refresh and have your scenes folder right there. Now that's why I usually like to start and make folders within Unity itself so let's right click here and say create folder and then let's rename this folder to what I like to call models. And this is the folder we will use to import 3D models. Next, let's create another folder and call this folder materials. This is where we will import all our textures. Now, just one more folder that is what we need to add and let's name this one audio. Now as you can see I've accidentally moved it inside the materials folder. Let's just move it out and we'll have our own folder right here. Okay, now that we have that, 
we can start making some geometry for our character to walk around on.